Tonight, charges are dropped against three men who were accused of kidnapping and holding a woman captive at a St. Louis church. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Brent Solomon. Kelly Jackson has the night off. One of the men at the center of this highly publicized case is now speaking out, and he's only talking with Five on Your Side's Robert Townsend. Robert is in the newsroom with his exclusive emotional interview. What is he telling you, Robert? Brent, right now, Grace Capendo says he's just overwhelmed with lots of emotions now that he's no longer facing charges. From the beginning, you'll remember he and his lawyer insisted Capendo was not guilty of anything. In February, St. Louis police arrested Grace Capendo and two other men after a woman accused them of holding her captive at Mount of Olives Ministry in South City. The woman told officers the trio kidnapped and beat her. According to a probable cause statement, officers found the woman in a room bound with rope and bleeding from her head. You still don't know why she accused you of this? No, sir. Grace Capendo sat in jail for nearly two months. Even though he was free on bond, he still had to wear a GPS monitoring system for six months. It was tough. Friday, the tough, darkest day of his life ended. Prosecutors dropped kidnapping and assault charges against Capendo, his cousin Munga Fungamali, and Pasi Hari. That monitoring device was removed from Capendo's ankle shortly before our interview. What was that like? Whew, it was emotional. I had to hold it. I didn't want to uh, sob in front of everybody there. His lawyer called him Thursday night with the long-awaited news that prosecutors dropped the case. Feeling relieved and uh, excited. I'm still, I'm still trying to process uh, this, uh, this, this, this moment right now. Prosecutors didn't say why they dropped the charges. I'm thrilled. I, I, I always thought this case was going to fall apart. I thought it was a major rush to judgment. There's just, you know, there's no evidence uh, to support their case. Are you worried about your future? Oh, yes, I am. I am. Despite his fears, the 28-year-old Army second lieutenant, husband and father of a newborn baby boy, relies on his faith. You're confident you will be able to rebuild your life? Absolutely, sir. I will. By, uh, by the help of Jesus Christ, I will. Capendo says he's now planning a barbecue reunion with the two other guys and their families. Now, about an hour ago, I talked to Pasi Hari. He, too, tells me he's thrilled to finally be back home, Brent. Great reporting tonight, Robert.